This is the video tour of 647 East 4th Street, Tucson, in front of the house. This is looking down the street to the north. You can see the downtown area there in the distance. This is looking to the west, and that's looking to the south. So they've got this ornate antique fencing all around. The large front yard. Wrap around front porch, which by the way, I walked on that porch and uh, actually that's going to be replaced. Most of those uh, boards are, seem to be rotted and there's quite a bit of flex when you're walking on it. So the key for the front door, there is not one because it's like a latch key style. The house from the side gate. Make your way over there. And in the distance, you, may, you might not be able to see the A, but that's A Mountain for University of Arizona. The college kids always hike up that mountain and do uh, like sprint challenges and things like that. This probably would have been a Nice tech to sit and watch the horse-drawn carriages go by while smoking a cigar in the early 1900s. So you've got a good sized backyard. And when I first got here, I wasn't sure what this building in the back was, but that's the guest house. It looks like it used to be maybe a combination barn or something like that. Um, and it would need quite a bit of renovation, I think, to be livable. I'll show you what I'm talking about. In general, the property just kind of needs to be cleaned up. They've got stuff just kind of scattered everywhere. So I'm guessing this is kind of an area where they would shoe the horses, you know, things like that. And then they converted this to a small living space. I mean, it's not in terrible condition, but it's just this one small room. It's got a wall unit. And then it's got a small bathroom here absolutely in need of a cleaning some painting i mean it's uh it's not the worst i've seen by any means but um need some cleaning up for sure and you've got a gate that goes out to the street and this space is locked i couldn't uh, get in there so i don't know what is in here See, that's quite an original door. So, you know, if you did want to spend the money to fix this place up, you definitely would have your separation with living spaces. And then over here, there's, uh, I believe that's a basement access. But I'm not gonna go down there. It doesn't look like that door's been opened in quite a while. I've got this interesting door. This is the back door. And this is what they're using as a living space. Um, it's a large open room. It's got these really awesome uh, carved beams, wood-burning fireplace, large open windows. And then there's a full bathroom right off this space. And 
and there's a skylight in here. Also off the living room is this like storeroom. Not entirely sure what this was used for. But they've got lots of shelving and um, just looks like it was being used as a storage room. And then uh, there's also a kitchen off. This is the main kitchen. This is right off the living room. Got kind of like a dinette space there. It's a gas range. These are tile countertops. Cabinetry appears to be original, which is interesting. They've got these charming historic touches, you know, all these uh, like uh, switch plate covers or early 1900s, which is cool. And you've got this ornate ceiling in here, this, this sort of tin work, which is interesting. Original hardwood floors. You've got these built-in cabinets, which are neat looking. These are wallpapered walls. Very nice wood trim, wood shutters. Got a fireplace there. Actually, that fireplace doesn't look like it does anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's actually a functional fireplace. So here's the front door. Interesting original early 1900s hardware. And here's a bedroom. With the bookcase. Looks like some of these books might be as old as the house. You've got a closet here, which looks like it could use some finishing. And this is a Jack and Jill style bathroom. There's no tub or shower in here. I mean, certainly there's room to put one in. Got the original cabinetry, two sinks. Here's another bedroom. This door goes out to the front porch, the wraparound porch. You can see there's some water damage in the ceiling. I'm sure whoever buys this home is, is going to be doing quite a lot of restoration and repairs, as you would imagine from a home from 1908. Absolutely could be something amazing right now. It needs some attention. And that is it.